Evolution is a theory that many people are familiar with. We learn about it in school, see it in museums, and often hear about it in the context of biodiversity. However, evolution is still one of the most misunderstood scientific concepts in the public sphere. If I asked you how evolution works, you'd probably think of some key terms from high school biology, such as survival of the fittest and adaptation. But what does that mean practically? How does one animal transform into another? How do species diverge? Many people have misconceptions about the evolutionary process. Outdated theories of evolution are common in mainstream and social media, and this has skewed the public's perception. Most pervasive is teleonomy, or the idea that natural selection is goal-oriented. People often mention how fish grew legs so that they could walk on land, or how zebras became striped so they could hide in the tall grass from predators. It may sound like semantics, but this line of thinking ascribes an objective to nature. Rather, these changes came about naturally and randomly, and happened to be advantageous enough that they remained features of these organisms. In addition to teleonomy, evolution is often substituted with what I like to call Pokemon evolution. In this view, animals